Time now for the Dish on Wisconsin Supper Clubs, our monthly series about people behind this beloved Wisconsin tradition. Yeah, tonight we head out to Outagamie County where a daughter took over the supper club from her father. Now, dad's name is still on the marquee and you're going to need to keep an eye out for Geno's, especially this time of year when the corn is growing. But I guess if you're not looking for it, are you going to find it? You know, we're in the middle of a bunch of cornfields and stuff, so. Tucked away in Outagamie County, along old Highway 47 in Black Creek, sits Gino's Hilltop Steakhouse. The proprietor is Nicole Hippus, who's continuing the traditions of her father, Gino. Namely, the legendary 16-ounce ribeye, or the Gino's Burger, which is just as big. I was 10 when we bought it. And then just kind of was always dishwash, waitress, you know, did that stuff. And now I am my only cook. So I have like fry cooks, I have flat top cooks and stuff, but I'm the, like the main cook. We tagged along with Corvettes of the Bay as they lined up at the salad bar right away. Pleased to find out there were also chicken and fish options that make Geno's just about anybody's pick if you're craving an old-fashioned supper club experience. We like the camaraderie. We like the, the hometown feel. Every time we have been here, we have sat down and we've talked with the people that live here. Country it, people are just warm, friendly, and hard-working individuals, and, and we can identify with that. Yeah. And, and the whole club membership enjoys getting out of the city and, and spending time out around the countryside. Servers are sometimes customers, always friends, and many times family. Longtime bartender Winter can attest to what it means to have a boss who cares about you, the person, not just the worker. I've been working here at Gino's uh, part-time for about 15 years now. I have def uh, different part-time jobs off and on during the week, but this is my funnest. But I was working the night I got engaged. My husband called Gino to actually keep me here longer while he set up the surprise for me. I became a mom while I worked here. Then uh, when my son was diagnosed with cystic fibrosis at birth, they have fundraised with me for years and years and years. Even during COVID, when I had to take the whole time off and stay home with him, they delivered vegetables and, and groceries to my doorstep when I was homebound. So they've always been with me and she welcomed me back with open arms when it was time to come back. So. I'm happy to be back. And to think how small this place originally was with only four tables. Now there are several rooms with homemade woodwork from Gino himself. My dad did all the woodwork. He actually wow. made the table, like those side tables also. My dad made those. In fact, it was Gino who came up with the idea to close in the back patio. It allows them to host big groups without adding to the wait time of its regular customers or walk-ins. You kind of come in, you would normally have a drink at the bar get a menu, you kind of decide what you want for dinner. We then take your order at the bar. We don't start your food until you head back to the dining room. When you do stop in, be sure to look up and around at all the unique finishing touches and inspirational messages that sure make this supper club feel like home. It's cozy, it's homey feeling kind of. There's something for everybody, definitely. Gino's is open Wednesday through Sunday at 4.30 p.m. Be sure to also check out some of Nicole's pickled veggies. Yep, she's got a side hustle and helps others with their side hustles, too. I have more on that right now on our website. Just look for extra sides at wearegreenbay.com.